Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, grade uh, 10 students. Um, I'm going to talk about um, uh, your lab uh, report uh, simulation. Uh, the first part of lab report, I'm not going to talk about it because it's easy one. You can, you can know the balance and unbalance force. I'm going to talk about the third part of the objectives, which is to understand the effect of forces of friction during the motion. So you're going to open uh, this lab simulation. And what you're going to do, you're going to apply a force on the first object, 50 kilogram. You're going to follow the same steps written in your lab report. You have to change in mass, once 50, 100, 140, and 180. Calculate the weight, and you know weight, it's mass, times gravity from this formula, you're going to calculate the weight of this object. So it will be 50 times 10 if I take a gravity, 10 meter per second square. So 50 times 10, it will be 500. And you continue. 100 times 10, it will be 1,000. 140 times 10, it's 1,400, and so on. Normal force, if you draw a free bay diagram, gravity down, Normal force is always opposite to the gravity and perpendicular to the surface. So uh, normal force, it will be up, Fm. And they're equal. They're balanced because there is no motion in the vertical direction. So Fn will equal the magnitude of normal force will equal the weight. So Fn will equal gravity down. So the same values you've got here, it will be the same here. So here it will be 500, 1,000, 1,400, etc. Let's come to how you are going to measure the static, the force of static friction. Now, we said static friction, when the object, when do I have a static friction? When the object is not moving or the object is about to move or start to move. So I'm going to apply a force, okay? You see, as I increase the applied force here to the right, the friction, the value of friction force is increasing till I reach a point when the object starts to move. Once the object starts to move, I will have the applied force 133 to the right, greater than the friction force, which is 94. Record this value. This will be the value of the friction force. So you are going to record this value here, 94 in Newton. Now change the mass, make this mass 100. So. I can add more mass here, I can add here, I can make it 100, I can make it 140, okay? I can make it 150. And each time what I'm going to do, apply the force. Once the object start to move, you record the value of this friction force. You see, applied force, the force is greater than the friction, the object start to move. Record this value. Record this value, 188. You record it down here, 188. After you finish, he wants you to draw a graph between force and normal force. So you need these values. You copy them, normal force and, and friction force. You go to here. Excel, and you paste them here. You're going to use Excel to draw a relationship between what? Between the friction and normal force. From the equation, I have a friction force with a static or kinetic friction equals what? Mu times the normal force. If you draw a relationship between friction force, F, and Fn, and you get a straight line. The slope of this straight line, which is rise over run, will represent what in mu? The coefficient of friction. So how I'm going to use Excel now? Select your values. You go to insert, scatter, scatter blot. Click on any point on the graph, right click, select data, edit. 
name. Here I have a friction. I can name it friction, force versus normal force, normal force. X value, I need, I need to draw what in the graph? I need to draw a relationship between normal force and friction force. So X value should be normal force, okay? And Y value, it would, should be friction force. So here I go to X value, it should be normal force, and Y value is the friction force. Click OK. OK, now label, label my chart. I go to plus sign here. I can go to this one here or, or OK, so axis, label my axis. Show me legend, show me trend line. I can name the axis here I have. This one is normal force. I can name type it normal force. And write the unit, it's a Newton. Go to Y axis, this is a friction, friction force, and write the unit in Newton. I can set my graph, go again to plus sign here, go to legend, and click here, more option. More option. I wanted linear is already linear. I want my graph to start from zero, so it will correct the straight line to let it pass through zero. And I need to display the equation of the graph. Once you have the equation, the slope will represent, as we said, the coefficient of friction, whether it's static or, or kinetic friction. After you're done, you solve the questions. You have to answer what the slope represent, what is the value of the slope. You open this website and you check the value of the slope. You've got what is the type of the material. This, this value represent which type of material. Is it aluminum, is steel? Which type of material it will represent? That's it for your lab report. Once you're done, solve all the questions and upload it on, on ManageBack.